All right, guys, good old boy 32 here. Check it out. So we are looking at a new trigger system for the, well, full Monty. This is the rifle build that we put together a little while ago. And in that build, we actually were using the Trigger Tech Diamond. Since then, the Trigger Tech Diamond has moved over to the DMR rifle Creedzilla. And I'll just give everybody a little quick update. I actually did remove that Midwest Industries handguard, and I put this guy back on. This is one of those $50 eBay deals. Cool thing is... If you look right there, that's a gas block. Man, that thing looks like a, a, a an engine of some type, but uh, went ahead and modified the handguard so it allowed for that. But the idea is that barrel is supposed to be in the middle, not on the end. I've tried remounting that thing, the Midwest Industries handguard, like 10 times, and it still did this deal. I might just go ahead and try to put it on a different upper and see what happens. But in any case, what we're going to do is we're going to take this American Trigger Corporation AR Gold Trigger, and we're going to install it in this thing, but I wanted to give you guys a quick look at it and talk about some of my discussions with Mr. Ronan over there, American Trigger Corp. So just to be quite honest with you, uh, reach out to these guys, see if they'd like to participate in the overall review of a bunch of different triggers that we're going to put on the table and compare. But before we do the overall comparison, I wanted to do an individual review of each one of those triggers. So far, we've done quite a few of them so, so far as it really, really, I can't even remember. But once we get them all on the table, we'll all figure that out. We're going to talk about the trigger pull reset split times. We're going to take them out to the field. We're going to check each one of the lowers and see how much fun we can have with triggers. And if you know me, I can have some fun with some triggers. All right, so American Trigger Corporation AR Gold. This guy is pretty cool. It is being used currently by the American Marksmanship Unit, as well as I think Jerry Michalik runs this trigger. And there's a reason why. This thing has an incredibly short reset, incredible trigger pull. And one of the things that I just am well, not familiar with, but it's it's like almost a little bit on the loose side. But what that does, it adds to reliability. If you get a lot of dirt in there, well, reliability. So in any case, had a great conversation with Mr. Ronan, and he was actually uh, instrumental in the setup of Gunsight out there and was actually on his way out to Gunsight because Miss Cooper had passed away. God bless her. Anyway, when you open the box, you're going to get a couple stickers like that. Uh, talk about lubricant. Make sure the firearm is unloaded. Okay, as you can see right now, that firearm is unloaded. And then we're going to talk about this. One of the eternal truths is this. The purpose of shooting is hitting. The consensus of the masters is that a fine trigger is the single most important desideratum in any rifle. Okay, y'all tell me what the hell that means. In any case, you've seen this in videos. I've talked about this in the past. Reset is just as important as the direct pullback. One of the biggest things that I loved about the Trigger Tech Diamond is that the reset, the Calvin Elite from Timmy, the reset, all of those hold true. This guy right here, it holds his own as compared to those guys. So anyway, let's go ahead and take this thing out and take a look at it. Uh, like I said, I have, I've actually mounted this into this rifle and I've been shooting it for quite some time before we did the box opening. And I had some questions and Ronan answered those things. So now I'm able to give a thorough review with some correct answers. Anyway, you've got the flat face gold trigger. It does come in a curved trigger if that's what you want. I'm a big fan of the flat face. Uh, you can see it right here, patent pending. It's all solid CNC'd aluminum. Go ahead and pop that as you can see the inside. Very clean and clear. Full strength springs. Don't have to worry about any light primer strikes. There's no adjustments to this guy. It's supposed to be three and a half pounds, and we'll test that theory in here in a minute. You see there's an Allen wrench screw right there. Do not touch it. <laughs> I asked him about that specifically. One of the cool parts about this trigger system is that it does have these two proprietary pins, the hammer pin and the uh, trigger pin. One of the reasons you can see there's two cuts, one on either, either end, is that's what holds the triggers in. See these little springs right here? All you have to do in order to install this thing is drop it into the lower and push your pin sets in. I'll show you right now. Let's bring that camera in real quickly and see what we can do. Okay, so what we've got here, this is a Rainier Arms Lower. This is one of their badass deals. If I could get a couple more of these things, I'd actually love to see them. They are all ambidextrous. I don't normally use these ambidextrous controls, but some people do. Now, I will tell you this. In order to install this trigger system, you will have to remove that safety selector section right there. Let's go ahead and put that in there, and you'll see what I'm talking about. Now, before you insert your pins, you will want to go ahead and put your safety selector switch in. I'm going to make sure that mine's set on the 45 degree. So we'll go ahead and install this. 
bringing that in. You do not have to, you don't have to install the levers. As a matter of fact, I'm, I'm not even gonna worry about that right now because I am going to put a uh, Loctite on those little screws. But then all you have to do, guys, you line up your holes just like that, push those in. And I got a little tap. Let's get a little Teflon hammer here, hold on. And all you gotta do is make sure it's in. There you go, that's in. Let's go ahead and line up that front hammer pin. Push it in. And there you go, you're done. That's all there is to install it. Now let me go ahead and set up and put the uh, safety selector in because we're gonna go ahead and get this whole thing figured out. And there we go, she's installed. Boy, I like that. Now, one of the things that I was telling you about was the movement of the trigger itself. And that's one of the things that I talked to Ronan about was the horizontal movement. Is it a deal breaker for me? Absolutely not. There's just a little bit of movement in there. But what I want to do is I'm going to show you the trigger pull in itself right here. Got a little bit of a take up. He says it's 0.8 of an ounce. There's the trigger pull. Here's the reset. Trigger pull. Reset. And what that translates downrange is faster split times. And guys, when milliseconds count, those are very important. Let's go ahead and check out the trigger pull with our Lyman trigger scale here. Stand by. I'm going to hold it right at the bottom. Uh, one pound, six, two ounces. Let's do that again. A little less than the uh, three, three and a half pounds they're talking about. One more time. One pound, 13 ounces. One more time. One pound, 11, eight ounces. What does that mean? This is going to be a fast, fast trigger for sure. But I'm going to tell you something, that takes some getting used to. But when I took this thing out earlier and was shooting with it, oh my God, it's unreal. Not to mention, look at that. Isn't that cool? All right, let's get on out to the field and see how this thing runs. Stand by. Okay, guys, so we're out here on the range, and this is with the American Trigger Corporation AR Gold Trigger. Again, one of the things that I cannot stress that is very, very important, and I hope you guys can hear me. I left my... Uh... All right, so uh, anyway, left my microphone at the house, but uh, we're at 100 yards, got a 10-inch target down there shooting unsupported. And one of the best things about a competition trigger is when you do press the trigger, and I mean press, there is hardly any movement in the rifle itself. So... And the reset on this thing is amazing. Now, I'm shooting expensive ammo today, so this is not fun for me. Uh, woo! All right, let's put a couple more rounds in there. I'm going to show you exactly how fast this thing can go. And I'm going to give you an up-close look at this trigger and the return the reset. It's absolutely awesome. Stand by. All right, so one of the things that's really important as well is your double taps. Uh, so what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to do a double tap on the steel at 100. Probably not going to be able to hit it, but we'll see. Better be better to do that right there. As you can see, but the follow-up shots, the uh, when you're burning it down, like just like that. Those are what matter. Now there's a lot of competition triggers out there. I'm gonna show you what sets this one apart. There's some that are very close to this guy. So let's go ahead and turn this thing around so I can show you exactly what the reset and the pull look like on the camera. Stand by, here we go. Man, the last. All right, so here we are, man. I wanna show you exactly what we have going on here. The one thing I would say about this trigger, I want you to watch this, is that there is movement. Uh, it took me a while to get used to that. A little bit of movement. I did talk to Ronan over there. He said that is by design. 
And what it does is enables you to put a feel for the trigger, bring it up to that locking point, and there you go. It is a single stage, but it has a little bit of movement in it. Here we go. Why don't you guys watch this? There's your brake, your take up. And here's your reset. <laughs> and the reset. And I'm out of ammo. Anyway. There you go. You guys get the gist of it. All right, so that's it, guys. American Trigger Corp. This is the AR Gold Trigger. They do make it in a curved version. I'm a big fan of the flat face. Would I recommend this? Yeah, I'd recommend this, as well as I'd recommend a lot of other ones. Triggers are a very personal thing, especially in the competition world. You guys are going to have to figure out exactly what you want. Would I rank this up in the top five? Yeah, uh, I would. Uh, retails for about 269 249 259 somewhere in there. Uh, they did send this out to me for testing, uh, and I will tell you this. I am going to be putting this on the table with all the other high-end triggers, and we're going to figure out from one to whatever I have who's got the best trigger. But in any case, this is the American Trigger Corps AR Gold Trigger. Guys, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't done so. Support red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless us men, women in uniform. 24-7 for our freedom. Look at that thing. Isn't that pretty? Go to 132. I'm out.